All right, in this slide, I want to show you how to make a numbered list in a PowerPoint slide. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to start off with a text box. You're going to say insert text box and then click over here. All right, so this time, uh, let's use the presidents again, except I'm going to click on the numbered list instead of the bullet list. And now you can see the number one there. So again, we'll use those same names, uh, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush again, and then Obama. All right. Now you can see the number lists are pretty easy to uh, to work with. Now let's say let's just say uh, that there was a president between Bush and Obama, or between Clinton and Bush. I'm just making up an example now. I can just click at the end of one of these lines and hit the Enter key, and notice how it automatically added a new number there. So it's easy enough to add things into your number list, not a problem. In this case, I'm going to delete that. I just wanted to show you how you would make that work. Or another thing that you can do is to be able to uh, click on that, that name, and you hit the Enter key. Now, if you hit the Tab key, notice what happens. Now it goes to the next level in. So uh, let's say we had George, Laura, okay, and you see how it's kind of indented. It's the next level in. Now, if I wanted to go to the next level out, I'm going to hit Shift Tab, and now you can see I'm on on the uh, the the outer level. So when you're doing your number list, if you hit the tab key, it goes to the next level in. If you hit shift tab, see how it goes to the next level out. So these are all great ways to manage your bullet list, uh, your number list as well. I just hit the backspace key there. Now uh, you can also format your number list. I'm going to highlight the numbers here, and then uh, I can click on this pull down. Let's say I wanted to do these inner ones. I'm going to highlight these and then click on that pull down. Let's say I want that to be ABC. Well, I can do that. Uh, I can click on that pull down next to the number list, and uh, we can try one of these different formats. We can also go into bullets and numbering, and uh, we can change the size of the text. We can uh, change the starting position. Is it going to start at one or a different number or a different letter? And then we can change the color as well. So you have a lot of flexibility with your number list. All right. So just watch again. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to start with the text box. I'm going to click over here. Uh, let's this time let's use some countries. So you'll have uh, United States, Canada, Mexico, Italy, Spain. All right. Now um, and then uh, maybe we'll have. Um, Maybe we'll have France. All right, now I'm gonna. Uh, what you can do is even highlight the text after the fact, and then make them a, a, bull, a, a number list from there. Now let's say I wanted to add more countries. Let's say between Mexico and Italy, I'm gonna hit the Enter key, and then type in type in uh, England, and you can see how it, it renumbers everything and it adds that right in there. Uh, let's add another one. We'll add Germany. So it's easy enough to do that. Now in this case, I had misspelled the United States. I'm going to fix that now. But let's say I'm going to go to the United States and hit the Enter key. Now let's say I actually want to start listing some of the states. So I'm going to tab in. I'm going to say PA, California, Texas, Maryland. And now you can see how it's on the, the inner level. I'm going to hit the Enter key. Now if I want to go back to the outer level, then I can uh, use um, the shift tab. Uh, by the way, other icons that work here is this guy. This is going to move it one level in, as you can see, or I can even go another level in, and this guy is going to move it one level out. So that's the same thing as picking, uh, doing shift or uh, tab. Uh, I mean tab, and then shift tab over there. So those work for you as well. But now you have some great ways to make your numbered list in a PowerPoint slide.